Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I would like to show you how you can build a course in ClickFunnels 2.0. The courses in ClickFunnels 2.0 replaced what we know as membership funnel or membership site in ClickFunnels Classic. And besides showing you how you can create a course in ClickFunnels 2.0, I want to help you with this video to connect all the dots and answer your questions about managing your course. For example, how you enroll somebody to the course, where your contacts can find access to the course and so on. So let's get started. In order to start building your course in ClickFunnels 2.0, you would need to go to Site, Courses, and then click Create Course. We have a few options here. We can start with a blank course, we can use the basic course structure, you will already have a few modules with a few lessons pre-created for you. And you can also use a nested course structure, which is slightly different from the basic course. And you will have a few modules, then sub-modules and lessons inside them already pre-created for you. But we will start with a blank template, so you see how to create everything from scratch. Give your course a title and ClickFunnels 2.0 will use this title to create a URL for your course already. You can either change it here or update it later in the settings of the course. Click Create Course. So a few things that you may consider on this page. First of all, you can preview your course. Later you can duplicate the course that you created. You can go to the settings from here, start customizing the course, which we will do in a moment. And last but not least, the course that you created gets the theme that was assigned for your workspace when you created a workspace in ClickFunnels 2.0. You can change this theme here if you want to use a different one. But we will go with the one that I chose for my workspace when I created it. If we go to the settings of the course, here you can update the title of the course add some description for your course, which I do recommend to do because in the customer center where your course will be visible, there will be place for the description of this course. You can change the status of this course from draft to live course or vice versa. Update the URL, change the theme, same as here on the dashboard. Also select an image, the thumbnail for your course. And in the advanced settings, you can choose different styles for specific templates of your course. The first thing that I recommend to do before you start adding the content to your course is to customize the templates that you will use for your course. This way, whenever you create a new lesson, a new module and so on, they will already look the way you want them to look. To customize the templates, click Customize. On the left you can see two tabs, Course and Templates. In the Course tab you will see the content of the course that you will add. Right now we don't have anything here. And also the home page of the course. In the Templates you will see the templates that I used for the module and for the lesson page. Let's first customize the course home page. Overall you can edit those templates same way as you would edit the pages of your funnel. We're using the same editor here, so I will not go into the detail of how the editor in ClickFunnels 2.0 works. But there are a few important moments about the elements that you will see on the course pages here that you should consider. First of all, you will see elements like this with those brackets. And what you should know about them is that you shouldn't edit them. You shouldn't delete the course title here and write the title of your course. Those elements are dynamic elements and ClickFunnels 2.0 will automatically paste the information here that it has about your course. For example, in the settings of our course or when we created our course, we already gave it a title and ClickFunnels 2.0 will insert this title here. You can see the same elements, for example, in the breadcrumbs or here in the selections of the modules. Again, you don't have to go here and edit the title of your module because ClickFunnels 2.0 will take the title that you entered in the settings of the module and put it here for you. It will save you time and effort because you don't have to enter everything manually. And whenever you change something, for example, the title of your module, ClickFunnels will populate the changes for you automatically. The second thing to consider here is that the course pages will have elements like this, like collections of the elements, for example, course modules. And if you want to edit something, you don't have to make changes in all of those elements. For example, if you don't want to have an image here anymore, you can delete it in one place 
and it will be deleted in the whole collection of the elements automatically. So you only need to make changes in one area. Same goes for adding elements. For example, if we want to add a button here, you can see that it will be added in every section. Next, if you want to add new elements, click Add Element and you see that ClickFunnels has a specific section for course elements. And if you click on, for example, Modules, you will see the elements that are there specifically for the modules of your course. And same goes for Lessons. For example, those elements will be only relevant for the lessons of your course. And last but not least, our template already has a sidebar like this. The theme that you installed for your course may not have it, but if you want to have an element like this, you can just add a specific element, go to add element, search for sidebar, and you can just drag and drop it there. You can adjust the homepage template of your course and make it look the way you want and then click save. After that, what you want to do, go to templates and also make the same changes on the module page. It looks pretty much the same as the course homepage, but maybe you also want to change something here. And now we will go to the template of our lesson. Click default lesson page. All right, here is what you need to know about the lesson template of your course. Here we have an area that contains, so to say, static content. That's the elements that will be present in each lesson of your course if you add them here. Down there we have an area with dynamically replaced content and this will be the content different elements like for example paragraph or image and whatnot that you will be able to change to customize for every lesson of your course that said you only want to add those elements to the template of your lesson that will be present in every lesson of your course also when we later will add content to our lessons that we also create in a moment, we will only see this dynamically replaced content area. We will not see the area with the elements that we added to the template after you change everything that you need. Don't forget to save the changes and we can go back to our course and start adding the elements. Let's add one module and a few lessons. Click add new module, give it a title and description if you want, click create module. After that, click Add Content, Add Lesson, give your lesson a title, adjust the path to the lesson. You can add a thumbnail image for your lesson. And if in the module template you left the images that we saw there, you would want to add thumbnail images for your lessons, because otherwise you will only see the placeholder images for each lesson. Another important thing to understand here about adding audio and video to the lessons of your course is that you are doing that in the settings of the lesson. So if you added a video element to the template of your lesson, you would need to add the video here in the settings of the lesson. You would need to click expand video settings, select video and either upload the video from your device or select the one that you already have in the gallery. And same goes for audio files if you have any in your lesson. So once again, if you want to add audio and video to your lesson, you are doing it in the settings of the lesson. Click create lesson. I will quickly create another lesson. Because I wanted to show you that you can also rearrange the content of your course. Just drag and drop the elements that you want to move. You can do the same with modules. If you want to add some additional content to your lesson, for example, you have not just an audio or a video that we added in the settings of the lesson, but also want to add some text, click on this icon, edit content. And as mentioned before, we don't see the elements that we added to the template. We only see this blank area of our dynamically replaced content. And you would add in the elements here, same as you would add on your funnel page. We add a new section, a new row, and then, for example, a paragraph, an image, and so on. Then you want to save your changes. I guess after that, the just monotonous work of adding the content to your course creating modules, lessons and so on and adding the content there. And after you're done with the content, you need to update the status of the lessons and the modules by clicking here, clicking publish. For the module, you can choose between publish, drip and lock. And last but not least, you want to publish the whole course. 
you either choose a date here when your course becomes available or you just click update course if you want to publish it immediately. Now let's talk about a few moments that are related to the management of your course. I see people asking those questions again and again and I decided that I will add it to this video as well. First, how do you enroll users into this course? There are a few ways how you can do it. The first way is by purchasing of the product. You can create a product in ClickFunnels 2.0 and connect it with the course that you created. And when somebody purchases this product, they automatically are enrolled in the course. If you refund the money for the course or a customer issues a chargeback, they will be automatically unenrolled from this course. The second option would be a manual enrollment. You can choose a contact in the contact section, then open the contact information and go to the enrollments tab and add an enrollment to the course. And last but not least, you can use a workflow in ClickFunnels 2.0 and choose an action, enroll a customer in the course. By the way, I answer all those questions and also show much more of what you can do with ClickFunnels 2.0 in our ClickFunnels 2.0 Master course. So if you want to master ClickFunnels 2.0 much faster, that would be your shortcut. Check out the link in the description and sign up for our course. The second question that I see quite often about the course in ClickFunnels 2.0 is how do users get access to the course? ClickFunnels 2.0 has a set of system emails that are sent out automatically and you don't have to do anything for that. They're triggered by specific actions on your funnels or on your course and the enrollment in the course is one of them. We have an email here that is called course enrollment notification and once a user is enrolled into the course, ClickFunnels sends this automated email with the link to the page where the contact can access their course. And the last question is, where is my course placed? What people that purchase my course and get access to the course will see. So after they go to that page, either from the ClickFunnels email or if you email the link to the course, they will actually get access to your customer center. That's why my last recommendation about the course is to actually customize your customer center because people who bought your course will see the course there. And if you don't customize your customer center beforehand, it will include all the elements that the template of the customer center includes. All right, that's all you need to know to create a course in ClickFunnels 2.0 and manage it afterwards. If you want to master this platform much faster, check out our ClickFunnels 2.0 course. You will find the link in the description of the video. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more useful content about ClickFunnels and funnels in general, and see you in the future videos.